Good morning, everybody. Now, I don't like doing these videos and every time saying I'm right on this, I'm right on that. It just happens to be a fact. And it's, again, this is not bragging. This is simply to reinforce and to make you understand that when you have the, the right information and when you have the right understanding and when you have the right mental game, um, that this whole trading business is really very, very simple. It's easy for me to know not only what is happening, but what is going to happen. And I think many of you now are catching on to the fact that the zombies, and remember, the zombies mean the 100%. I call it the 100% because it's virtually 100% of other participants in the market and people in general that have really either zero understanding of what is going on or a completely backward understanding. And I've shown many examples of even, you know, uh, those who are considered so, so savvy as market operators who really, uh, when you see how they made their money, it's either by luck or by inside information. Okay, I'm talking about guys like George Soros and Paul Tudor Jones and uh, was that idiot Kyle Bass and Gundlach and Jill Gross. Uh, or they could be good marketers, whatever. So, you know, they, they build a business up and they take their money from management fee. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. The market is following exactly, exactly my uh, call or my forecast on what was going to happen. We see stocks down again today. Last night, as I said, the, the debate was kind of scored in favor of Hillary. And I watched last night. First of all, I covered my uh, S&P E-mini short uh, with a 20-point profit. So that's $1,000 per contract at 2137 last night. Then the debate came on. And you had a sharp rally. It went all the way up to 2154. It gave everything back this morning. So it was not even, it didn't even last as long as I thought it was going to last. Uh, we have on our SDS position. That's an inverse uh, S&P uh, index position, okay, which I advised over a week ago. We got into that maybe two weeks ago, I guess, leading up to uh, the... Um, Fed meeting, and really that was based on the deceleration in fiscal flows. I've been talking about that. Gold is down $10 today. I said the short gold. All this stuff is in the MMT trader report. Okay, so everything, even our Euro uh, British pound position, which I spoke about in the MMT trader report this week, that is coming back down in our favor. So everything is working out. Now, from this point on, uh, you know, I would say the situation is very much in a state of flux. It is fluid. Things could change. We still need a continuing resolution, which has to be done by Friday or the government shuts down. If the government shuts down, sorry, very bad for the markets, very bad for the economy. We're not growing that rapidly. Uh, spending is decelerating. Can't have a shutdown. But I suspect that they will come out with a continuing resolution by Friday because neither side wants to have a shutdown. They, they would suffer from that uh, politically. And with the election coming up, they just don't want that. Um, so we'll get that. And then I have to see what is in there, if there's additional spending. And the beauty is, again, I will see from day one, October 1st, the very first day of the new fiscal year, what's going on. Nobody else does that. Nobody else has this understanding. Nobody else follows what I do. There are some of you out there now who, uh, who bought the Understanding the Daily Treasury Statement course, and you're starting to get pretty knowledgeable about this, and you're starting to follow it on your own, which is great. Okay? So um, we've entered into kind of a, a fluid situation right now. Things could turn around. You know, long term, the stock market goes up. I'm not afraid when it goes down. I called this. I was prepared for this. I raised some cash into this. I have a little bit of a hedge position on, so no big deal, okay? Uh, when prices go down, I buy. When prices go up, I sell. 
when prices go down, I don't panic like the zombies and the uh, mousy boys. When prices go down, I don't, uh, you know, do a dance in the streets and, and celebrate like the cockroaches and sell into the hole. That's what they do every time. They sell into the hole because they live in holes. <laughs> no, when prices go down, I look for bargains. I buy. That's what you do. When prices go up, I raise cash and I reinvest that cash. So I'm pretty much always in the market. It's just a rotation that is going on, all right? Um, so that is the update for now. I'm sure I'll uh, think of a few more things later on. But again, you know, uh, I don't take any particular joy in coming on here and saying all the time, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. It's not, uh, you know, intended to be braggadocious to using uh, uh to use Trump's term from last night, I, I see that was the most looked up or Googled word this morning. Uh, no, but it is just to reinforce and to uh, show you very clearly that with the right understanding and the right information and the right mental game, you get this right every single time. Now, actually, on that point, because somebody asked me, it's like, Mike, I like everything you're saying. You're a good guy. Uh, I really think your approach is very logical and rational, but you can't be right all the time. And that's, that's also right. You cannot be right all the time. However, and, and this might sound a little uh, contradictory to what I just said, but I'm not in this game to be right. I'm in this game to make money. There's a difference. And in those situations where I am not right, I know how to manage that both mentally and strategically. I know how to trade out of those positions. So I'm not worried, okay? In any situation, no matter what is thrown at me, I am not worried. I have detachment. I have discipline. I have patience. I have alignment. And I have trust. The five traits of my mental game. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. See you later. Bye-bye.